Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Roust, an endocrinologist at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Obesity and overweight um, is becoming a significant problem in our country today, and it causes a number of medical problems, primarily related to insulin resistance that occurs in these people. And the insulin resistance occurs because of the amount of adipose tissue, as well as the underlying genetics of the individual. A number of these um, conditions that are in, uh, insulin resistance related are type 2 diabetes, hypertension, hypertriglyceridemia, uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, fatty liver disease. Although there are a number of medications that we can use to treat these conditions, the cornerstone of the treatment of any of these insulin resistance uh, problems is healthy eating, exercise, and weight loss. Understanding how insulin resistance um, alters the metabolism um, is one of the key goals of the uh, clinical studies unit here. Um, we look at um, how the insulin resistance alters metabolism. We look at the influence of the genes or the epigenome on um, the metabolism. And, and we want to study how exercise can alter these, these factors. We study exercise both in terms of an acute bout of exercise, and we also can look at exercise over a long period of time of uh, continuous moderate exercise. And what we do is we um, measure insulin sensitivity through an insulin infusion. We can draw, draw blood tests to look at how the uh, epigenetic changes occur. And we can do a muscle biopsy to look at some of the metabolic and, and genomic changes that also occur in the, the muscle where the insulin is working. Epigenetics is the study of the proteins that are associated with the chromosomes and the genes. Um, they modulate the activity of the genes. It's, it's kind of like comparing that to a piano and a pianist. The genes have their specific action. The epigenome alters that, um, that action. Just like the piano keys have a certain action, but the music is created based on how the pianist plays those keys and, and, and alters the sound. To understand what goes wrong in type 2 diabetes, um, in either the metabolism or in the epigenome, we want to study people who have type 2 diabetes. We also want to have a control group of people who are overweight and have insulin resistance but don't have type 2 diabetes. We also want to have another control group of people who are lean, who are not insulin resistant and uh, do not have diabetes. And when we study these three groups, um, we can sort out what the effects of the insulin resistance uh, is in each, uh, for each of the groups. We need to have equal numbers of men and women in each of the groups, and we study people from the age of about 18 to 65. If you're interested in participating in metabolic research here at Mayo um, in a variety of different forms, um, please feel free to call us and talk with us about the studies that we have available and, um, and see if you would qualify. Thank you.